All right, everybody, welcome to another beautiful day. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. Um, thank you to the, I think it's like 262 subscribers. It's growing so quickly I can't keep count. But thank you very much. I do greatly appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. We do all kinds of fun things. If you like chickens, they're fun things. So today, we are commencing on Operation Poopy Coop. I have my drill. Never underestimate the power of a girl in a drill. In a dream. Yeah. Um, so today we are taking the current coop and expanding it a bit. We're going to move this wall right here back to this right here. I'm going to clean out this rancid mess, which is really disgusting. Um, and give the girls more room so that they can uh, do their chicken things in here and I'm going to give you a play-by-play -play as we do this today so this has already gone wrong because I did not want to let the chickens out my goal was to keep them in the enclosure so that that way um, they would not be in my way because I do need to move several things um, this is kind of a, a two-part renovation because not only am I going to be moving this wall back here but I'm also going to be clearing this corner out to make room for um, some type of enclosure for the favorils for the winter so um, yeah it's going to be going to be a bit of a thing so already gone wrong I didn't want to let them out so that they wouldn't get in the way they're already out um, so we'll see how this progresses all right part two of operation poopy coop as you see poopy coop is no more but look at this palatial chicken coop look at this guys it looks it looks like it's doubled in space does it not it's only three feet more but man it looks huge i'm so excited for my girls to get in here and to experience this Wall is moved. Still a little bit to go. we got to figure this little problem out. <laughs> Upper management's working on that right now. I got the roosts out. We're going to be redoing them. I got a lot of this corner cleaned out. I'm working on getting more of it cleaned out because we're going to make an enclosure for the favorils over here um, somewhere for the winter so that they can get in out of the cold. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fantastic. So... We'll be back here in a little bit with more update on exactly what's going on. And the girls are most upset. They're very upset that they can't come out right now. As you can see, they're, look at them. They're trying to sneak a peek at what's going on. Like, what is it? What is happening? So, yeah, they're good. Everyone's fine. But I think they're going to love it. I'm really excited. See you in a minute. All right. The dust is still settling. If you can see the haze that's over there, I've been sweeping and sweeping and sweeping. It is finally safe for the girls to go in. We've got everything opened up and look here. It is complete. Look at that. The grand entrance. It's so much bigger, you guys. It's so great. And now look, we have all this room over here. I moved all the fencing that was over here, if you remember. Got my soccer mom toolkit. That's right. I got all this swept up where the moles or the mice or whatever the hell had been having their little time over here. Got that all swept up. My food and trash. And then look here. The girls are moving on up. The stilted roosts. Look at that. Still got poop on the wall. That's their signature there. We wouldn't be without it. I tried to get that, this, uh, <laughs> this was for Fiddle, the big fat rooster that I had because he was too fat to get himself up on the roost. So I put this little walkway on it. Well, we did it a little too well. We screwed and glued it. So when I took the screws out, I was like, oh, this will pop right off. No, it's glued. So yeah, we over-engineer things here. That's what we do. So yeah, this is this is a permanent thing now. I don't think it's going to come off. But we've got everything secure. This isn't going anywhere. That one's not going anywhere. We've got eggs, and the girls are probably pretty upset because it's later in the day. And they, they have laid several eggs today. 
as you can see, but this they've been blocked out of here, so they haven't been able to lay eggs, so they're probably backed up a little. They've probably got a little a little extirpation. So they've been poking their heads in and out a little here and there, but we just got done getting everything completely settled. So it's uh oh here comes Gwenny. Henny Gwenny the Henny. Here they come. It's all settled down, girls. You can come in now. I really hope they like it. I love it. I think it's great. I can't, I, I, I just, it's great. It's wonderful. Can't say enough good things about it. Upper management worked so hard on this, getting it all together. We've got the, the, the ultra secure stuff here. So, I mean, they could chew through it, but Hopefully rodents or um, predators could chew through it. I'm not saying the chickens are going to chew through it. That'll definitely keep the chickens in. But, um, yeah. So, very happy. Very pleased. I think the girls are going to be very, very happy with it. And with that, we will leave them to getting acquainted with their new apartment. Right? Moving in. Alright, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks.